Good evening, ladies and or gentlemen. My name is Brendan Circus, and today I will be responding to what is uh, perhaps the most ludicrous, most ridiculous, most outlandish, most stupendously awful article I have ever read. The, the dumbest, most repugnant, horrific, horrendous thing in the history of the world I have ever had the displeasure to have come across and read on the internet. And that's up against some stiff competition. It is written by uh, some woman somewhere, a 26-year-old feminist and writer from Montpellier, Vermont. Of course she's fucking Canadian, why wouldn't she be Canadian? Um, who graduated from the University of Vermont in 2010 with a degree in journalism. Mm. Okay. Her hobbies include gaming, hiking and writing. And her name is Letita Verderosi. Mm -hmm. It's an article in Modern Woman Digest, who I'd never heard of until the other day when I found this. The title of the article is Gamergate Proves the Majority of Male Gamers Are Rapists. Now this came out early April, so I thought perhaps it was an April Fool's Jay joke, but uh, it came out on April the 2nd, not the 1st. which leads me to believe that this is genuine. Gamergate proves majority of male gamers are rapists. The absurdity of that title alone should be enough to tell you precisely how ridiculous this is going to be, but let's soldier on. Turn on your television or check out any news website and what do you see? Uh, I'll, I'll have a Let's just have a look at the, the Guardian. What have they got going on here? Uh, Labour pledges huge fines on tax avoiders to raise £7.5 billion a year. US Capitol Hill locked down after shots fired and suspicious package investigated. Large crowd attends funeral of man shot by police officer. Cannabis smokers warned they risk poorer exam grades. Turkey mobilizes troops to border region after clash with Kurdish militants. Islamist opposition leader executed for war crimes. Dogs trained to detect prostate cancer with more than 90% accuracy. Praying the gay away. Trauma survivors crusade to ban conversion therapy. Police investigate swastika graffiti on conservative offices in Aberdeen. Tax disc loophole leaves angry drivers facing massive fines. Okay. Why did you want me to do that? What did you hope to find? Let's find out what she wanted. <clears throat> Females in the gaming industry being chased out of their homes en masse due to threats of rape, torture, mutilation, death, violence and harm. You know there was none of that. Um, no, yeah, none. None, none at all. In fact, as far as I can tell, people are still being welcomed into the gaming industry regardless of, of sex. And in fact, there are a number of uh, <laughs> things like the, um, oh, the campaign by the fine young capitalists to uh, encourage um, female people entering the gaming industry uh, that uh, Gamergate donated a hundred thousand dollars towards. That's um, yeah, things like yeah. That, I, I don't think women are being chased out of their homes en masse due to threats of rape, torture, mutilation, death, violence, and harm. Sorry, you're kind of wrong on that part. But anyway, let's continue. Why, for daring to speak up, for daring to even speak, for that matter. In this male-dominated gaming industry, females should not be seen nor heard unless they are offering sex or dressing like skanks. Otherwise, they must be punished with rape and death. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. No, that's that does not in any way accurately reflect reality. Um. Just speaking doesn't do any of that stuff. That nothing bad happens to people just. F speaking occurs then bad stuff that's not a thing um, but okay uh, first of all the gaming industry is not male dominated women have just as much access to it as men do and in fact slightly more in some instances but uh, all right um, let's assume it is in this um, male dominated gaming industry as you call it females should not be seen nor heard okay well that's automatically wrong because there are a huge number of female game developers also female programmers and female artists and female writers and staffers and all the rest of it. All of the various things that men do in the gaming industry, women also do. 
so that's very wrong, but uh, okay. Ms. Mervyn is fearful should not be seen nor heard unless they are offering sex or dressing like skanks. Except that uh, offices and workplaces where men and women work in the gaming industry typically have dress codes that would prevent women from dressing like skanks in the same way that they wouldn't have men turning up wearing ridiculously revealing clothing or whatever because you know you want to maintain professional a professional look um, so that's not true <laughs> and unless they're offering sex it, you know I, I don't think that's true I don't think I'm pretty sure that all those female workers in the gaming industry are not sitting around all day waiting for men to turn up and be like right okay bend over that's not the way that works. They're actually doing their jobs, which is the same jobs that the men do, just done by a woman. I, I cannot understand where you've got this idea from, but uh, okay. Otherwise they would be punished with rape and death. Yeah, uh, no. Do you know how many people Gamergate have, have raped? Zero. Do many people gamergate have murdered? Zero. Do you know people they've, they've threatened to rape and murder? Zero. I know you, you, you seem to have an issue with this. People aren't trying to rape and kill you all the time, but you seem to think that they are. And it's this, this complex of perpetual victimhood that you've um, given yourself this, this weird reality you uh, believe that you exist within um, whereby you are constantly under attack from uh, uh, hordes of, of internet trolls who to you must resemble actual real-life trolls seven feet tall covered entirely in thick matted grey fur wielding enormous clubs you know being butted off bridges by billy goats etc um, and I must say this reality you envision does not exist. It doesn't. <laughs> but uh, you continue. What does this say about the majority of male gamers? Uh, well, it doesn't say anything about the majority of male gamers, because A, you're talking about the gaming industry, not, not, not gaming itself. So this couldn't actually say anything about male gamers. But uh, even then, even if you were talking about male gamers doing this, and y because you're highly inaccurate, anything you said there wouldn't actually tell us anything about the majority of male gamers in the slightest. So um, it doesn't tell us anything, but uh, I'm sure you're going to answer your own question differently. It clearly says they are rapists and rape supporters. I see. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, great. excellent. You get it off your chest and the whole... Yeah, okay, so according to you, there's this ridiculous, uber-patriarchal, sort of caricaturistic gaming industry where women exist only to sexually service their male counterparts and because of this thing that you think exists every male person who enjoys gaming as a hobby is a rapist and a rape supporter those two things both inaccurate for their own reasons and also do not actually logically follow I mean even when you're making shit up as outlandish and ludicrous as this I'd, I'd, I'd have hoped you'd have been able to keep it at least somewhat consistent within your own twisted view of reality but you appear to fail to be able to grasp even that minor concept but let's continue what do you what do you also say for the best example look no further than Anita Sarkeesian why is she a rapist I, I don't think she is but you know, maybe I, I haven't been paying attention Miss Sarkeesian dared to say that maybe we should change how we view females in video games no what she said was this is how people view women in video games inaccurately um, portraying how people view women in video games 
Uh, she then said, also, everyone must change. People should stop liking the things they like because I don't think they should like them because I don't like them. Also, people need to stop making things I don't like. Also, you. Yes, you. You making a game right now. Stop that. I don't like that. Go do what I want you to do. And people say, oh, fuck off. We're going to like the hobby we like. And we're going to make the art we want. And we're just going to do what we want to do because it's not actually impacting on anything. No one's being hurt by the game that exists. No one's become a misogynist, no one's become a murderer or a rapist. None of that happened. That's not true. What we did was we made a game, and then people played the game, and people were like, this is a good game, we should totally play games more. And then it continued to occur. That is the history of gaming. People made games, people played games, people continued to make games, people continued to play games. At no point did any of the rapes happen. That's not a thing. But, uh, yeah, okay, I, I can... No, no, I, I can't. I can't even understand where you're going with this. <laughs> Fine, okay. Let's uh, continue. That maybe we should just be more than sex objects. Actually, what she suggested was that you were only sex objects right now, which is something that was patently false, um, inherently false. We could prove that without a shadow of a doubt. And the fact that she was so incompetent um, should bespeak to her inadequacy uh, when it comes to understanding gaming culture. You see her um, playing through was it Hitman Absolution, I believe, um, when <laughs> every single gamer would just who plays these games would just have gone through one part. There's one part where there's these two um, sex workers, I believe they're strippers, uh, in a club, and they're getting put on makeup and things. Normal people, gamers, who just play the games, would just have gone straight past them. She instead chooses to walk right up to them and kill them. Which is bad in the game. It's something that you are not rewarded for, but actually penalised for in the game. And she used this, her doing this, against anything any gamer would actually do, as evidence that gamers do this sort of thing normally and that you are rewarded in the game. She spoke something that was completely and utterly opposite to the reality that she was experiencing at that very moment and claimed that that proved her point. She is so useless and so, so shit at everything that I have no idea how you could have ever believed her at all. But, um, let's continue. And what happened? She was flooded with thousands upon thousands of threats of rape and death. Really? Just for having an opinion? Uh, no, not for just having an opinion, and in fact not thousands and thousands of rape and death threats, as far as we can tell. In fact, I only know of one that ever actually happened, one threat, and it was deemed not credible by the police. So, uh, I've got to say, I don't know, and again, that wasn't even Gamergate. And you're going to say, this is all Gamergate's fault. But no, there haven't been any threats of death or rape that have been linked in any way to Gamergate even slightly. So, you're still wrong, but uh, let's carry on. This is how we act in America when a woman dares to, as male gamers put it, leave the kitchen. No, 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 come on. No, you can't be this stupid. Even fucking Texan tradcons who actually have shotgun weddings and all this bullshit who believe in Jesus and all the rest of it, even they don't actually live up to the whole women must be in the kitchen all the time kind of bullshit. That's not a thing that exists. That is at most a caricature and it's non-existent in reality. No one acts like that. It's utterly moronic to believe people do. They just don't. Ah, oh, fucking idiot. She even had to cancel a talk at the Utah State University due to a death threat. No, she didn't. There was a death threat. This is true, there was a death threat. And when she took it to the police, the police said, it's not credible, there's not an issue, there's not going to be a problem, just go do it, it's fine. And what she said was, no, I think it's credible, I don't care that you've already checked and made sure it's not, and made sure everyone's safe, because that's not good enough. What I want is 24-hour protection, and I, I, I want a police escort everywhere, and I want people to be strip-searched when they come in, and I want metal detectors, and they said, fuck off, there's no reason to do that, you're safe. 
So what she did was cancel the talk where it was totally safe and there was no reason any harm would come to anyone and the death threat would not go through and pocketed the money. Yeah, she's not a great role model, all things considered. Mm. Anyway, where were we? Ah. A man claimed he would... Well, we don't know it's a man. It could well have been a woman, but we'll assume, just for your own sake, that we'll assume it's a man. A man claimed he would massacre the school with guns and bombs if they allowed this talk and... You then have a full stop after and and then a capital letter of the next word. Of course, the university was powerless to provide any sort of security or precautions for the event. No, they chose not to because there was no reason because the police said the threat wasn't credible. Miss Sarkeesian was forced to cancel her talks. No, she wasn't. To protect the student body from harm. No, she wasn't. Something the male-dominated university board didn't seem to care about. Yeah, they didn't because there was no threat. The police even said so. We also have Zoe Quinn, an independent game developer known for Depression Quest. Yeah, known for Depression Quest. A game that isn't really even a game. That is more like... An, a, <laughs> you, ever, you ever played uh, Choose Your Own Adventure books? There is a troll in the way. Roll a d6, add that score, to, that 3 to your score, and then, depending on whether or not you get 5 or higher, turn to page 74 or turn to page 21. <laughs> that, that kind of thing. That, that, if you would known that. Those, those things, it's, it's like that. Only shit. It shouldn't even count as a game. But, sure, okay, yeah, Depression Quest. She did make it. That's true. She made it using Twine, something so easy that I can fucking use it. One need not be a game developer to develop games now. <laughs> as um, illogical as that sounds. Because when this is the sort of thing that's classed as a game, all you need really is a web browser and the ability to click things. But still. Uh, there was a Zoe Quinn, but he had developed another depression person who was chased out of her home because of the actions of her ex-boyfriend, Aaron Joni, a confirmed and vehement rip supporter. Wow, would really like a citation for this one. That's a hell of a claim you've got there. I have not seen anything that suggested that Aaron Joni was a, in any way a confirmed vehement rape supporter. Not even hinted at it. And she wasn't in any way chased out of her home. She left her home, this is true, she did leave her home. She wasn't chased. That would require there to be an actual risk of danger. Miss Quinn committed the heinous crime of breaking up with him and, as punishment for not cowing, cowing to him and being a good little housewife, made a rambling essay that accused her of sleeping with multiple men to garner media attention for her game. No, uh, she cheated on him repeatedly with members of the gaming press and industry. It wasn't that uh, she broke up with him, it was, it was that she cheated on again and again and again and again with model people, including Nathan Grayson, who did cover her game. Um, uh, in fact, it mentioned it repeatedly, even in articles that didn't seem relevant um, to, uh, to mention, um, and also randomly inserted it into headlines and things. It was, it was very odd. It was the sort of thing where there was no reason for him to talk about it, but having had sex with her, he decided to mention it, to just shoehorn it in. Very strange that. It's almost as if there's some sort of uh, sexual favour in, in exchange for, for, for media coverage kind of thing going on between them. It's, I don't know, it's the sort of thing, some sort of uh, media revolt focused on, um, on, on, on noticing uh, and, uh, and outlying and, and making known various ethical violations in, in the gaming industry might, uh, might want to jump on. I think Gamergate did actually, weirdly enough. Uh, anyway. No, I didn't do them. Then he spread this nonsense around to every forum and outlet he could. Uh, well, no, it was spread around to a bunch of places, but it wasn't nonsense, it was all true, and she admitted to it. Of course, there was not one shred of proof to these accusations. She admitted to them. Also, there was, but okay. But that did not stop the masses of Gamergate from latching onto them and finding out where she lived, sending her rape, death threats, and forcing her to leave her home for her own protection. Except we didn't, and there appears to be no evidence whatsoever linking Gamergate at all to any death or rape threats she may have had. I would really like to see just some evidence that Gamergate did this. Just a little piece. That would be useful. It would, it would support your case, you know, a little bit, just slightly. Just, just once, that would be good. 
the proponents of Gamergate would have you believe it's about ethics in gaming journalism. That's because it is. We even pointed out repeatedly ethical violations had people um, fired for ethical violations and also uh, instituted new ethics policies and things like that, pointing to collusion that was occurring and um, that's the sort of thing we, we do in, in, in Gamergate because it's about ethics in gaming journalism. Oddly enough. But when you have their members doxing, threatening, harassing and attempting to murder any woman who would dare to speak up against them or defend themselves, it becomes obvious that the ethics they are talking about do not even apply to themselves. Yep, citation needed on that one, mate. When you have members of Gamergate doxing, I, I have seen doxing, and it's been decried by all the members of Gamergate whenever I've seen it, whenever anyone has doxed anyone on either side, and it's usually by third party trolls who dox both Gamergaters and non Gamergaters, um, we all say, oh, this is terrible, why is this happening? People shouldn't be doing this, this is wrong. It gets reported, it gets stopped, it, all this, this happens on both sides, and it's terrible. Threatening, haven't known any of that, known a lot of anti Gamergaters to threaten Gamergaters. Mostly white knights saying, come on guys, I'll fight you. you know, I must prove that I am the manliest man so that those women will have sex with me. Because they're fucking idiots. Harassing? Well, harassing is basically a code word for disagreeing with. So, you could say there's been harassment, provided you're an idiot. When attempting to murder. Oh, <laughs> could I need proof of that one? I've never known anyone at all to attempt to murder anyone for Gamergate at all, even slight, no member of Gamergate I, I have ever known of the many, many hundreds of thousands of us. No, none at all. There is no evidence of this, even slightly. But anyway. <laughs> Gamergate has even taken it upon themselves to harass suicide prevention lines and transgender support groups. No, they haven't, and in fact, the people who were accused of this were actually sorry, were actually providing um, knowledge of these um, self suicide prevention lines and transgender support groups so that people could utilize them if they needed to. I remember when this, I can't remember who it was who it was someone I follow they was accused of saying, "What look what you're doing you're trying to get people to jam up these lines I said, no, I'm letting people know that the suicide prevention lines exist so that they can use them if they feel suicidal." They even linked to the original tweet, I showed them this is what he was doing, he was just showing that. I was like, oh, well, okay then. <laughs> People like you immediately went, oh my god, look at what they're doing, and said things that were just untrue. Which I consider to be stupid, but um, apparently you're okay with it. These have nothing to do with gaming, but their rage is so volatile that they cannot help but hurt those who have nothing to do with the situation. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. Our rage is very volatile. Look at me, I'm a seething mass of rage. Mm. <sighs> yeah, no, we don't hate transgender people, but there are quite a few transgender people in Gamergate, so that doesn't even make sense. But, um, <clears throat> moving on. There are those who will say, but there are men who support Anita, Zoe, and women in gaming in, in the gaming industry. Surely not all men are rapists. Wow, that's one hell of a sentence that assumes a fuck ton of stuff. But okay, yeah, uh, there are people, there are men who support Anita. This is true. There's lots of them. We call them manginas. Um, there's people who support Zoe because they're fucking idiots, or just trying to get her to sleep with them, like she has with every single person in the gaming industry. And women in the gaming industry, yeah, people like uh, me. I, I support women in the gaming industry as a member of Gamergate. Yes, we do that, don't we? I, f I completely forgot we did that. It's important that we do that. Like like all the female members of Gamergate who are part of the gaming industry and part of gaming culture, those, pe those, those people, we, we support those, don't we? And also all the other gamers who are female, and all the game developers who are female. Jennifer Dore, for example. No? You're not going to make mention of those? Okay, yeah, fine. Surely not all men are rapists. Uh, yeah, in fact, actually, most men throughout all of history have not been rapists. The vast majority, almost every man ever, has not been a rapist. It's a very, very rare crime. The only rarer crime is murder, so 
I'm mean, going to say, also there are a significant number of uh, women who are rapists um, who never get reported on and in fact in many cases including in the United Kingdom it is completely impossible for a woman to legally rape a man so um, yeah that is, uh, there's that but uh, okay, let's carry on hmm there's that not all men thing again well I have an answer for that the men supporting women in gaming are only waiting for a payoff sex <laughs> Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, mm, yeah. The men supporting women in gaming are only waiting for a payoff. Sex. Really. Well, I can understand some of that to some extent. I can understand the whole um, uh, mangina, white knight bullshit kind of thing. The whole, why won't women have sex with me? I know, I'll be a feminist and I'll show them that I love women. I can understand that, the whole them being pathetic enough to be, oh, I need women to have sex with me. Um, but, gotta say, just supporting women being in gaming and in the gaming industry doesn't mean you want to have sex with them. I currently have a girlfriend. She's not a particular, particularly uh, gamer kind of person. I'm significantly more gamer than she is. Um, and in no way do I think, well, you know, w w women in the gaming industry, they, they shouldn't be there, but I don't think that. I think women should be in the gaming industry, and are, and should continue to be. And at no point do I think, you know what, I really need to have sex with them as well. That's not a thing, it's not a thing that goes in my mind. I don't think Jennifer Dore, oh yeah, she's you know, making games, that's good. But is she having sex with me? Not even a consideration. I don't know what she looks like. <laughs> Well, was I? They wish to show that they stand with women, but in their minds they are only using it as a means to try and get laid, as they would put it. Well, sorry men, but it's a little harder to get into our pants than that. Is it? I've got to say, I'm pretty sure there's probably some of you that would be. Like, uh, Joey Quinn. You don't even have to support women in the industry. You just have to indicate that you might give her game a favourable review. Anyway, where was I? Um, this. This leaves the obvious question. Does it? Does it really? Okay. Why is Gamergate happening? Why are men doing this? Um, it's not men, it's people. Um, try check out Not Your Shield, maybe. Where well, the women go, the transgender people, and the non-white people. The people sick of your shit, saying, Why is it all these white straight males? And I'm going, hang on, fuck off, we're not white straight males. And as a white straight male myself, I can say, <laughs> look at not your shield. Guess what, I'm not the only one there. Anyway, where was I? Ah yes, this leaves the obvious question, no it doesn't. Why is Game Again happening? Why are men doing this? They're not, it's people. Change. It is scary to many. Actually, change is scary to many. <coughs> Drop and stuff. Particularly if it's change that's in some way immoral or unreasonable or illegal. Change like um, proper game coverage becoming cronyistic, jobs to the boys kind of things with you know payoffs here and there, people sleeping with one another to get good reviews, and all the collusion, corruption, the lies, and the bullshit. Or change where people say, actually, you know what, you shouldn't be free to make whatever game you want, you shouldn't be free to like whatever game you want, you have to make it the way we want you to make it. You have to have these characters, you have to have these changes to your game, you can't have naked women, that's ridiculous, you can't even have semi-naked women, you can't even have attractive women, attractive women are just wrong! Attractive men on the other hand, oh you can have plenty of that, and lots of gay sex, gay sex, yes, tons of gay sex in it. Which I always thought was a bit weird. I think you should be able to have gay sex in it if you want, of course you should be able to. You should be able to have straight sex, or no sex, or the entire game is just a simulator of sex. That th These are things you could do. That wouldn't bother me in the slightest. None of that would. But apparently, according to people like Anita Sarkeesian, any potentially remotely even a little bit sexual depiction of a woman is automatically wrong and evil and villainous, and any potentially remotely a little bit portrayal of a sexual man is A-OK? -okay? Unless it's rape. <laughs> In which case it's just wrong. Because she's crazy? I think that's probably it. She's probably crazy. But uh, anyway, where were we going? Da -da 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 -da. For the vast majority of the history of humankind, women have been subjugated by men. 
No, they haven't. Sorry, they haven't. Women have stayed home! Uh, you mean women haven't had to work? Well, that's true. Had children! Well, women are the only ones capable of having children. Men can't have children, so that, that was kind of... That's going to continue forever. Okay. Done the chores. Actually, chores have been done by men and women, only men also had to work. While well, men went out and followed their dreams. Actually, the majority of men throughout history have not been able to follow their dreams. They've had to work until they die in jobs they hated because that's all they could do. Okay. While well, men went out and had fun. Actually, men have gone out and had fun, so have women. And sometimes they've been able to and sometimes they haven't. Really, going out and being able to have fun is something that pe rich people have been able to do. But not poor people. Not really male and female, sort of rich and poor kind of thing, but, you know, whatever. They fear that if women aren't equal to them, actually women have more rights and fewer responsibilities than men do in the Western world, but whatever. They may have to do their own laundry or clean up the messes they make. I do my own laundry and clean up my own messes. Um, I don't fear that, because I already do it. You might be an idiot, just there's a, there's a slim chance. We women are finally standing up and saying, that's too bad, we want to be more than property, and that scares men. No, it doesn't. It confuses men. <laughs> they well, fuck, you haven't been property ever. There's no time throughout all of history where women have just been property. And of course, talking like humans have been property, like slavery, in which case I've got to say, ha ha, majority of slaves in history have been male. But anyway. <clears throat> but why is it so much worse in the gaming community than any other areas? Well, it's not. In fact, the, the thing you, you fear doesn't even exist. Gaming, though more mainstream now than ever, has long been dominated by children and young people. Well, not really. It kind of was when it first started, because uh, it was considered a children's thing. It was basically about children and teenagers. But those children and teenagers grew up and kept gaming because gaming is fun, it's an enjoyable hobby and people love it. So gaming is done by adults and children and teenagers alike, everyone does it. And the people who did it when gaming began, the people who did it when they were kids, when they grew up, continued to do it. I did it when I was like three and I still do it now that I'm 20. I've known people who, who did it when they were 10 and are still doing it now they're 50. There's lots of, there's no it's kids and teenagers, it's people of all ages do it, and the more it goes on, the more it's going to be older people and younger people as well. It's, there's nothing majority kiddish about it, there's, there's nothing like that, there's no age range that is specifically what gaming is all about. Everyone does it, so you can do to be wrong. Been dominated by children, young people, those who are the least mature, if you say so. They stay in their fantasy world so long that by the time they grow up, they'll still have the child's mindset. Yet yeah, no. They don't actually spend time in the fantasy world, because people, the majority of people, in fact, as far as I can tell, everyone who isn't a female feminist from San Francisco has the ability to differentiate between fantasy and reality, and they continue to do so on a day-to-day -day basis. And when they play games, they know that they aren't really Spyro the Dragon, they know they aren't really Crash Bandicoot, they know they aren't really Sun Soldier, they know they're not Master Chief, they know they're not Link, they know they're not Seamus Saran? I can't remember what the Metroid blokes, that's his real name is. Uh, anyway, Seamus something. Then they know they're not those people. They know these people don't exist. They know they are game characters in games. Fine, whatever. You fucking idiot. So, of course, it would stand to reason that the male gaming community, okay, would throw the largest fit, being the man-children they are. Yeah, fuck off. That's really not what's going on. Particularly seeing as how Gamergate is not men, it's people, including a lot of men, women. I haven't noticed any children, but I'm sure they exist in there. Black people, white people, Asian people, Hispanic people, people who claim not to be white or any other colour, <laughs> people who claim to not be the two genders that exist, and so on and so forth. There's everyone's here. We've got religious people, we've got non-religious people. We've got capitalists, and we've got anarchists, and we've got communists, and we've got Nazis, and we've got everyone. <laughs> everyone who happens to be a gamer, that's the whole point. It's just about gaming. There's nothing more to it. 
Anyway. It is time to grow up, clean up your own messes instead of making mommy do it, and allow other people to have lives and have fun. Yeah, mate, we're just gaming. Anyone else can do what they like. Doesn't bother us. You want to join in? Sure, we'll play with you. We do clean up our own messes. My mommy does nothing. My mommy is hundreds of miles away in her own home. <laughs> so good luck trying to prove I live in her basement. I don't think she even has a basement. But uh, whatever. You can threaten us, rape us, kill us, but we are 50% of the population. You cannot kill and rape us all. You will either stand on the right side of social change or be left in the dust of history. The choice is yours, men of Gamergate, which is more than you can... Oh, sorry, which is more than you have ever given any woman. Yeah, okay. Well, first of all, Gamergate, not men, men and women. Second of all, women are not the thing Gamergate is fighting. Third of all, if we were, and you were 50% of the population, and Gamergate was the other 50% of people on Earth, that would be the men, then presumably, if Gamergate was about raping women, then they could actually rape all the women, couldn't they? If it was like one-on-one, -on -one, and it was actually about that, surely the people of Gamergate, if they were doing that, could actually do that then, so you're still wrong. Even in your imagined re weird reality where you think the world is like this, you're still wrong. That's really ridiculous. You will either stand on the right side of social change or be left in the dust of history. Yeah, we are on the right side of social change. The side of the saying, there's no reason for social change, because everything's fine. The side of the saying, stop censoring art and free expression. The side of the saying, stop being so politically correct and just let us do our thing. The side of the saying, hey, you want to play a game? You want to play games with us? It'll be fun. We're not the side that's saying, KILL ALL MEN! We're not the side saying, EVERYONE'S A RAPIST! We're not the side saying, THIS ART OFFENDS ME, GET RID OF IT! We are on the right side of social change. Because we're not fucking idiots. Anyway, I have now read through the most ridiculous article I've ever read. Fuck off everyone, and of course good luck.